Hi, this is Victor with HTC One Soft Modder. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to get a Nexus-like stock Android experience on your HTC One without having to root or install any custom ROMs. The first and most important part of this is getting a new launcher. We'll be using Nova Launcher, but there are others like Apex and Holo Launcher that do similar things. Okay, once that's installed, you tap Home, you'll get an option to choose your default launcher. So select Nova and tap Always so it doesn't ask you every time. You can import your settings, I don't have any from Sense. And you have folders that you can change the style of. See there's round, there's square, there's transparent. Also, you can get rid of this search bar. And that was a widget, but if you go into the settings, you, c you can see that you can also have a persistent search bar, which doesn't count as a widget, doesn't take up any of your grid space. And you can change the grid size, which you can't not do in sense. You can change margins, the search bar style. This is jelly bean, this is ice cream sandwich the number and arrangement order of home screens, wallpaper scrolling, transition effects, resizing widgets, putting widgets on top of each other with overlap. You can also do that for your drawer, change the number of, pay of uh, icons you can fit on there. You can make it more opaque or transparent. You can have vertical or horizontal pages. You can customize your folders, hide apps. You can have more dock pages, so you can have more icons down here. F folders. You can change, let's see, you can add gestures pinching, swiping, multiple finger swiping, rotating and you can set those to do a lot of cool actions like showing your screen previews if you pinch swiping up or down will open your notification tray okay and now we'll download a new lock screen but first we have to disable the sense one. So you go to settings, personalize, lock screen style, scroll to the right to no lock screen, and apply. Now we go in the Play Store and download Hollow Locker. There are more powerful apps like Widget Locker which lets you put widgets on your lock screen but that one is not free you'll see you can have settings like screen rotation if you don't want your lock screen to rotate with the phone and status bar settings disabling it you can change the shortcuts on it There it is. You can view your camera, go to Google now, or just unlock it. And now we want some quick settings in our notification bar. So we'll go back to Google Play and download Power Toggles. If you look in our YouTube channel, we have a more in-depth tutorial for power toggles and also a tutorial on HTC One Soft Modder you can check out. Once that's installed, you have to open it and enable it. And there it is. Finally, 
you want to customize it to your liking. You can do Nova Actions. These are shortcuts which let you go to the Nova settings, voice search. As you can see there, some more launcher actions. I'll add a widget for example. I like Eye in the Sky Weather. It's clean and minimalist. And I'll change the wallpaper to something more Nexus like. The HTC one comes with a couple of good live wallpapers for this. There is Nexus. But I like the honeycomb style phase beam. There's also this hollow spiral one. And as you can see, we can get a lot of the stock Android experience just installing apps without having to root or do any modding. That's pretty much it. If you liked the video, you can check out the full tutorial on HTC One Softmodder. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.